If you want to find out if Disney can be scary good, let's talk about the Haunted Mansion. Welcome, foolish mortals. I am your ghost host, David Stark from Watch Your Pass, and I'm here to talk to you about Haunted Mansion, which is coming to theaters on July 28, 2023. It is a new spooky movie uh, inspired by the Disney ride that you all know and love. We all know and love. It's one of my favorite rides at the park. Can Disney's magic translate this ride into a movie experience? Can it kind of sprinkle some fairy dust, pixie dust on it and make it a great movie? Well, sort of. My hot take is I think you should rent it. I think overall it is entertaining. It's funny. It has a really good cast. It is better i think than i expected to be but i still don't think it was kind of disney magical the uh the story was was okay the cg was a little bit heavy and there was a strange like number of brands like branded content in this movie it was a little off-putting but overall it's fine it's entertaining it's fun i think you should rent it it's not a bad movie it's just not really great so oh and also for kids it's a pg-13 movie and I think it's kind of a, a well-deserved PG-13. It's not like overly gruesome. There's not like a ton of language, but there are some pretty scary moments, like surprisingly scary moments in this film. So I wouldn't take like younger kids because they might get scared despite the fact that this is a Disney film. It's a, it's a PG-13 film. It's kind of in Disney's like older kid repertoire. And I think it definitely earns that. So, so that being said, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the film. A few things I liked, a few things I didn't like. So in the Haunted Mansion, you have Gabby who is traveling with her son, Travis, to this new mansion that she bought. Gabby is a doctor and she has a dream of returning to her hometown of New Orleans, opening a bed and breakfast, and I don't know, I guess living the life. But unfortunately, that life becomes a very scary life when she realizes that this house is haunted. So she brings in some help from some various New Orleans locals to try to alleviate the situation. And it just gets worse and worse as more and more ghosts are discovered and as more and more of the kind of haunting is revealed to them. So things I liked about this film, the first Look, I love the cast. This is a great cast. I describe it as an ensemble cast. I think that's fair. Uh, I, I love Lakeith Stanfield. I will watch anything that he's in. He is a fantastic actor, and he's really good kind of as the lead in this role. He has that nice balance of, like, serious and, like, funny that makes it entertaining. I, I really like Tiffany Haydish as the medium. The, you know, Owen Wilson, Danny DeVito, Rosario Dawson, they are all really great in this film. They're all kind of fun, quirky characters, and they all kind of mesh together really well to give you kind of a nice variety of a cast. Second thing I like, look, I like the humor. There's a lot of funny moments in this. It's not like crazy laugh out loud. I wouldn't describe this as a comedy, but there are definitely some really good lines, some really fun observations, some really fun situational comedy that will keep it entertained, that will kind of break up some of the scary, serious moments. There's not a ton of serious moments. There's a little bit of scary moments, but the humor is a nice addition to keep you entertained. The third thing I love, look, I love the references. There's a lot of references to the Haunted Mansion. If you know the ride, there are a ton of scenes that are reminiscent of it. There's a ton of references. There's a ton of the kind of like artwork and architecture from the Haunted Mansion. So if you're a fan of the ride, and you should be, it's a really great ride, then you'll definitely get some enjoyment out of the kind of like references and things that you see around this film. And the last thing I like, look, I like the scary moments. I like that this film has a scary moments. It's maybe not be for all kids, but I did like that there are moments where I was like, oh, that's that's a little bit more intense than I expected from a Disney movie. And I like that Disney kind of stretches its, uh, I don't know, wings, stretches its like mouse ears, whatever you want to call it, in these PG-13 movies. That being said, things I didn't like as much. The first, there is so much CG, and that's expected in a, in a film that has like ghosts and things like that, but... Some of it's good, some of it is not very good. And I couldn't really tell all the time if the CG, if the not great CG was references to the ride itself, because some of the effects in the ride are charming, but a little kind of dated at this point. So some of the CG looks dated because of that. But there is also like some pretty noticeable CG throughout. Like the mansion itself is CG. There's some pretty obvious CG scenes when it like goes around the mansion. There are some CG like monsters and things like that that appear. They do not look great, and I kind of expected a little more from a, like, Disney Disney movie. Like, Disney always does a pretty good job with CG, and I think it does a pretty good job of blending uh, actors with CG. This one, it was more noticeable than I expected, uh, so it definitely kind of broke my suspension of disbelief when I was watching this film. Second thing I didn't like, and this is a weird one, like, I didn't really expect this in a Disney movie. There's a lot of brands in this, like, a lot of, like, random brand references that, I don't know, feels kind of misplaced in a Disney movie. I don't know, it just felt odd. There were, like, Talk about getting going somewhere and like, oh, I got this at CVS, like prominently naming CVS. So there's like a Burger King uh, food reference in there. There is like a Baskin Robbins ice cream reference. It just felt weird at Disney movie to have these like specific, legit branded content in there. It kind of threw me off again. I know sometimes branded content is nice to kind of like 
give you a sense of realism. And here it felt very much like product placement. And the last thing I didn't love as much, look, the story is not great. It's okay. Like, look, they had the almost impossible task of translating a ride, a fun ride, into a coherent story. I think they succeeded in at least making it a story that fits within the ride and also adds enough references and things from the ride to kind of give you uh, fun knowing uh, things to see in the film. But that being said, the story itself is just okay. It's not great. It doesn't have like that Disney magic. It just, it gets the job done. It gets you from point A to point B. But I didn't love it as much as I was expecting, given the cast, given the humor, given how much I love the ride. I was expecting to really love this movie. I just walked away thinking it was okay. So that being said, Haunted Mansion is coming to theaters on July 28, 2023. Check it out. My recommendation is a rental, but you know, if you check it out, let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what I got right. Let me know what I got wrong. I love hearing people's thoughts. I love hearing uh, critiques of my stuff. So thanks so much for watching. If you liked this review, please like and subscribe to this channel. And if you don't, some hitchhiking ghosts might just attach themselves to your computer and haunt you until you do. So thank you again and take care. Yeah.